Hello. Hello. So the reading today is Matthew 28 verses 5 to 7. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, he has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you from Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. I find a good way to understand the Easter story is to fully immerse ourselves in each part as it happens. We know the end from the beginning. So just like watching the film The Titanic, we know what happens. By the way, the boat sinks. Sorry for any spoilers. So if we fully immerse ourselves in the story, we see things differently as a result. So let's look at this passage without knowing the end. We are told the women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James and others. These were the ones present at the crucifixion watching from a distance when everyone else had left. Let's put ourselves in their shoes. It's the first day of the week, Sunday, which began at sunset on Saturday, when they were able to go and buy spices. They set out very early in the morning. I wonder how they felt. I wonder what they spoke about. They had watched Jesus die an incredible death on the Friday. So amazing that the centurion standing there praised God. Then the Sabbath had happened when they could do very little except be alone with their thoughts. I can imagine confusion, fear, anxiety, sadness, lots of questions. They thought he was going to be the one to save Israel and here he is dead. Their commitment and devotion is commendable. They were there at the end and whilst it's still dark they go very early in the morning to prepare Jesus's body for burial. But what an incredible shock! When they get there the stone is rolled away and Jesus's body isn't there. I can imagine their feelings of confusion and fear were increased. What's happening? Has someone taken their dear Lord? What could this mean? As they were standing there, most likely bewildered, Matthew tells us there is a violent earthquake and Luke says a couple of men in gleaming white clothes stand before them. The Bible tells us they were afraid. I can imagine even possibly terrified. Such events were never seen before. Again, I can imagine the fear and the confusion increases. But what a relief when the men explain Jesus rising from the dead and they remembered his words. Suddenly, it all starts to make sense. Perhaps some joy and excitement and elation there too. Can they dare to believe? Can you imagine trying to relay all that had happened? It sounds like one of those situations where you almost had to have been there to believe it. I can imagine them going over it again and again to the disciples and, and, and they disbelieve them perhaps feeling a bit frustrated at their response to such wonderful news, perhaps disappointed that they didn't believe them. I wonder what G Peter felt. Whatever it was, he needed to see it for himself. Perhaps tempered excitement after the crushing disappointment after his denial. Perhaps fear again at what Jesus might say following his inability to follow him to the end, like he said he would. Whatever it was, he couldn't stop himself and ran to the tomb to discover what happened. The end from the beginning is the amazing news that Jesus didn't stay dead, but rose again on the third day. He is alive. So, what are our own feelings faced with this story? How would we respond to Jesus being alive? What difference will the resurrection power of Jesus make to our lives even today? Would Jesus use us to raise the dead? Let us pray. We praise you and give you thanks, Heavenly Father for raising Jesus from the dead. How amazing it is that the same Holy Spirit 
that rose Jesus from the dead lives in us for eternity to those that are given their lives to follow you. We ask that the church would have a fresh revelation to their hearts of the resurrection of Jesus, that we walk in increasing faith, that through us you would raise the dead. For nothing is impossible with you. We ask, Lord, that you would pour out your spirit in this nation, that many do not know you would know with certainty in their hearts that Jesus was raised from the dead. For this is the glorious gospel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a happy Easter.